Hello, hello everybody all over the world. How are y'all doing? As always, please let me know if you can see me okay, if you can hear me okay. I see that we got 170 people in this live stream already. So that is super, super cool. I see a message from Sully Chan, Mars question mark. No, I'm not on Mars. I'm in Lijiang, China. Hello to Jojo from Toronto. Sully Chan is in Shanghai. Hello. Amazing. Fabulous. But please guys, let me know. Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Let's get that out of the way first. <laughs> okay, now the messages are coming in. Looks like everything is all good at any point in time let me know if there is a change but of course all i can do is just change my location very happy to see my dad gordon mcleod gordy magoo in the chat this morning from saskatchewan canada i was just chatting with him uh in my morning his evening and he said he was gonna make it out today so thanks so much dad for coming out love you lots uh big hello to jim ross thank you so much for coming out a universal audience and jim thank you so much for the paypal as always really appreciate your support and thank you for tuning in happy to have you here we got people we got henry from malaysia we got ed from gwillimbury ontario i've never heard of that interesting we got top corners from beijing fantastic warren from dallas texas kai from washington dc jerry from singapore wait we got the whole world here amazing 329 people already here you guys you guys touch my heart and also my mom so sweet lena andreva привет дорогая смотрю тебя спасибо mom i love my parents they're so supportive <laughs> i am so blessed thank you guys so much for coming out so uh this will be my last live stream from china for this trip guys i'm actually quite sad about that because there would be so many more things that i wanted to show you so many more places that to see in this country but i will absolutely be back in the future so don't worry there will be more live streams from china but probably just not in the coming time so thank you all so much for coming out this is going to be a great one because we are in lijiang which is certainly one of the most beautiful and scenic places in all of Yunnan province and is my last destination on my trip so i'm very excited to show you guys this incredible place. So let's jump straight into it. For reference, it is 9 p.m. here right now, Sunday evening, and this is the time when the area that we're in, the old town of Lijiang, really the main thing that people come here for, really gets going. <laughs> I was on the fence whether to do this live stream in the morning or in the evening, but I figured that uh, the evening is just so much more bustling. There's a lot more I can show you guys. So that is the time that I decided to go with. So let's get into it. I'm gonna flip the camera and give you guys a view of KFC <laughs> and McDonald's and Starbucks over there. So if you're missing, you know, North America, you got those uh, basic options here in the Old Town. Because other than one other Western restaurant, which bless them for existing, it's called End's Kitchen. You guys will see them in the video. And since they're English speakers too, they have helped me with so much. Um, there is really no other western food which is absolutely fine obviously you should be trying the local specialties in these kinds of places <laughs> but take a look at the main square here it is absolutely gorgeous and as you can kind of get the idea of the old town is in a sort of elevation when i first arrived here i think 
I entered somewhere over there and had to walk down a whole bunch of stairs and through a bunch of winding streets to get to my very traditional guest house. Also would highly recommend will be in my vein in my main video. Um, so it's it's a trek. It's difficult with a lot of luggage. You will need to get kind of this tricycle thing that your hotel can order for you. Um, but yeah, it's like cobblestone streets, lots of stairs. That's what you can expect. Oh, we got Tony, Tony's room chat from Brazil. Um, oh, lots of y'all are really excited about KFC, I see. We got Gusu from Houston, Texas. Amazing. Right. I'm not sure what this beautiful creation is in front of us, but I assume it's kind of like the ones in Japan where you buy a little plaque and then you can put like a wish on it or like a good luck kind of thing. So lots of people doing those. All the trees have really beautiful lights on them. What's also fun, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but look in the second uh, level balconies, there's people that are playing live music. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. And if it was the morning, uh, if it wasn't cloudy as well, right through here, you would have a fantastic view of Jade Dragon Mountain, which is about, 25 to 30 kilometers away but one of the top things that people do um, when they come to Lijiang and what I will actually be doing tomorrow which I'm very excited for. I left it until uh, Monday because over this weekend there was like a public holiday so it was crazy busy like crazy busy. I'm hoping that tomorrow won't be so packed. Let me give you a look at these old water wheels that they have here, super scenic. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Ross. Please smash the like button. Yes, please do. And we'll see if you guys can catch them on your own. But Lijiang is one of the most popular places in all of China to dress up in beautiful traditional outfits and do photo shoots. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my little photo shoot that I did uh, a couple of days ago and had such a great time, got some beautiful pictures. So that was the other reason that I wanted to stream at night is because a lot of people uh, do their photos in the evening with all of the lights. So here I'll show you these two lovely ladies who are all dressed up. But I mean, there's there's a lot of lovely ladies. There's a lot of people that are dressed up tonight. So check that out. What's interesting about Lijiang is that it is uh, this area is home to a lot of different minority cultures. Yunnan province in general is known for that. Um, but here in Lijiang, the most prominent minority group is the Noxi tribe. Uh, so I'm not well versed enough to know which outfit is from which tribe, um, but Noxi is the predominant one here in Lijiang. Amazing. So we'll see more outfits as we head on, but I'm going to take you guys on the pseudo sort of route that I have planned. I've only got about half of it planned because I'm sure halfway through I will have absolutely no idea where I am as I do every single day walking through the old town. It is so easy to get lost because so many of the streets look very similar and they're all just like winding and it's it's very difficult to uh, keep track of where you are. It's also a very 
big old town. Like if you've ever been to the Gion in Kyoto, for example, you know, beautiful uh, traditional Japanese old town, it is so much smaller. <laughs> like it is so much smaller and so much easier to figure out where you are compared to the Lijiang old town. It is just enormous. So would highly recommend uh, using Apple Maps when you are here and putting pins on <laughs> where your hotel is. Oh my gosh, we got 700 people in here. Amazing. That is so cool. So let's get into it. Let's take our first steps into the old town. As you can see, beautiful cobblestone streets, wonderful for walking, terrible for luggage. <laughs> and right off the bat, you can see one of probably hundreds photography studios that I was talking about where you can uh, rent one of the uh, traditional outfits. They can also do your hair and makeup for you. And then you get a professional photographer who can take, you know, really nice photos of you, but you can also keep the outfit for the rest of the day and do your own photos. Um, each place has slightly different pricing, but I would say on average, it costs about 15 US dollars to just rent the whole outfit, which I think is very reasonable. That's without hair and makeup. But if you get the hair and makeup photography package, it's gonna be about 40 to 50 US dollars, I would say for everything, which also in my opinion is very reasonable. So that's literally one of the most popular things uh, to do here in Le Gion, is do a little photo shoot. And that's for both men and women. There's a lot of couples that do really cute like couple shoots. So really fun. And no, I do not think it is at all cultural appropriation as long as you are, you know, being responsible while wearing the outfits. I think they actually really like it when foreigners um, wear their traditional dress. At least that was my experience when I was wearing my outfit. Literally every second person <laughs> wanted to take a picture with me. So I got a pretty positive reaction, I would say. Uh, Dave JCP asks, did you go to the Three Gorges? No, unfortunately not. Um, I had a lot of computer work I had to do and then two sponsored videos that I, I had to film here. So basically all of my time in Lijiang has just been in the old town to get everything done in time. And tomorrow I will be doing J Dragon Mountain. Plus I heard with the uh, gorges, you really needed to stay overnight if you were gonna do the hikes properly. And I just didn't have enough time for that, sadly. Actually one thing, I mean, I've already pointed it out in so many videos, but as you can see, like, that lady picking up garbage, right? That's like Japan vibes. <laughs> I remember me and my dad were in uh, Tokyo Disneyland about 10 years ago. And uh, he was saying how, you know, this whole time I've been in Japan, I haven't seen one piece of garbage on the floor. And then right in that moment, we saw like a wrapper on the floor in Disneyland. And I was like, oh, look, oh my goodness, garbage. Laugh about it, looked back maybe like 30 seconds later and it was gone. It was gone. Because <laughs> these people just walk around and pick up all the garbage. Like that is incredible. Like I wish our taxes in Canada were spent on like more social services, not just garbage. Obviously that's not as important as like healthcare or education or something, but it'd be nice if we had much cleaner streets. 100% in Canada, our streets are not as clean as the streets here in China. So just wanted to point that out to maybe give us some motivation to clean up after ourselves in North America or ask our government to hire more people to clean things up. Cause like there is a lot of people, right? Like you would think there would be quite a bit of mess with that many people around, but I think most people are responsible and put 
their garbage where it needs to be, which is good. The shopping here in Lijiang is also really awesome. You can get a lot of like, you know, traditional sort of outfits, a lot of different foods you can try. Specifically, uh, tea and coffee are popular to buy here because in Yunnan province, this is really the only place in China that uh, they grow coffee. So that's another interesting fun fact. Oh no, is that copyright music? Oh no, <laughs> must move faster. Mm -hmm. oh, I think the guys got their attention, but pretty cool that they still make some of these things by hand. Let's see, she'll do a couple rows for us. Oh, I guess she got a She's got to do sales right now. All right. There we are. You can also get braids done <laughs> here in Lijiang. Oh, did I miss? I missed a super chat. Please keep me updated, guys. If I do miss one, please let me know because the chat goes so quickly when we got so many uh, people in here that sometimes they're easy to miss. So one from YB Poon. Very cute super sticker. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very sweet of you. Uh, let's see here. I want to read some of your comments because, yeah, it's hard to kind of like keep up with everything. Um, I'm sorry, guys, I can't read Chinese characters. I see a lot of people are, of course, commenting in Chinese, but I, I sadly can't read it. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, if anybody had a question, please post it now and I'll try and answer it because I'm scrolling, scrolling and I don't see any just yet. Okay, amazing. All right, guys, let's continue on. Another cool thing that they have here is flower cakes, which are um, these little pastries that have rose petals and kind of a rose flavored custard you can say inside and they're like a staple of Lijiang province <laughs> yeah flower cakes it's very good <laughs> yeah so they got like purple kind white kind and then they also have like green oh thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you I'll try it on camera here for everybody or live streaming <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to try a flower cake here, very kindly for free. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Very flaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a specialty. It's very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. That's so sweet of him. He didn't have to do that. That's very nice. Um, I wish I could pay, but my alley pays like my phone, so I actually couldn't pay if I wanted to. <laughs> so that's very sweet of him. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so these are like a really popular specialty here, as well as like literally my favorite thing to eat so far in China, which is cross bridge noodles. And it's this type of dish where you get like a scalding pot of broth. And then they bring you all the different ingredients like noodles, meat, vegetables, all separately. And you cook it, you know, yourself. Kind of like hot pot, but kind of not. Because they don't really do noodles in hot pot. Um, but that's like my favorite dish. And it's especially uh, popular in Yunnan province. So make sure you try it um, when you come here. I'm going to put my flour cake, save it for later. So sweet. Uh, let me flip the camera here. We're gonna keep going. Sadly, tonight there is no dance circle. Usually right in this area, they would have a dance circle, but maybe it's somewhere else in the city today. We'll see. 
They are. <laughs> oh, I don't know what everybody's doing or looking at. What the hell? There's a lot of fruit stands here as well. Watermelon is especially popular here. And drums for whatever reason. I don't know if that's part of like the traditional folk dance here, but there's a lot of drum stores here. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> silver, that's another thing that's very popular here. You'll see a lot of silver stores. Now we are about to get into the bar streets, which of course come alive just at night. And I'm a bit confused by then if I'm being honest. There's some that have like sexy ladies dancing and other ones that have furry creatures dancing. Other ones seem to be having like a light show in it. <laughs> so yeah. That, I mean, it, it looks fun. It looks like they're having a good time. I'll show you guys some of the others down here. So there is nightlife. <laughs> there is nightlife in very traditional Lijiang. <laughs> uh, somebody, I think actually a couple people asked where I am from uh, because my English is so good thank you so much uh, I'm originally from Ukraine but I grew up in Canada and I'm very much Canadian so that is where I'm from let's see what we can find tonight well they got some kind of I think they got somebody singing in this one tonight. This one. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know if I can really zoom in. It doesn't seem to want to work. <laughs> so yeah, some kind of performance in there. Oh, I see a super chat from let me just get to the side here. Peter Lowe, I think I've seen you in here before. Thank you so much, Peter, for the snack fund or the dancers fund. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hope you're enjoying Le Giac. Thank you so much, Peter. That is very sweet of you. I will have to think whether I want to use it for my snack or dancer fund. Thank you. And here it looks like we also got some kind of singing performance. <laughs> China's got talent, exactly. <laughs> oh, some kind of rappers in there it looked like. Okay, I think we're coming up to the one that looked really crazy a couple nights ago. Let's see what if yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I hope this isn't copywritten, but let's see. <laughs> this one does look pretty fun. I mean, <laughs> sexy ladies. There's a frog. Very confusing. Let's see what happens. So yeah, not quite sure what's happening, but the place is full, so obviously it's popular. Yeah! 
<laughs> That's great. Amazing. I think somebody actually mentioned it in the comments, but yeah, there is some club where they always are in like a furry outfit. I don't think it's this one. Maybe it's like further down here. Let's take a look. Maybe it's this one. Yes, maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. Let's see. Or, oh no, yeah, these are like the Pikachu guys. Let's see. Oh, I do see a super chat. I will answer that in just a second. One sec, guys. I wonder if the people in the Pikachu suits are like boiling hot. Or are they like the inflatable ones? That's what I'd like to know. Amazing. All right. Well, want to say a big thank you to Shira Shira. Have a nice, cool Chinese tea. Thank you so much. That is very sweet of you. I absolutely will. Because, yeah, here in Lijiang, they got a lot of really nice tea shops. So, thank you so much, guys. Very sweet. I wonder if like you have to pay to get into these clubs like uh, entry fee or if it's just you buy drinks at an inflated rate I assume and then you get in I don't know how it works here um, okay let's look at this club quickly before we cross the street oh this has a traditional kind of traditional outfit dance going on so let me give you a view Looks nice. I don't know what's on the screen though. Do you guys know? Why is there like a QR code and like different writings? Are they live streaming maybe and that's like a donation thing maybe? I'm not sure. Amazing. All right. Oh, somebody's getting their makeup done for a photo shoot. They go well into the night. Like I usually, you know, get to bed at like 10, 11 o'clock. I leave the old town to my hotel, but like people are still out here doing photo shoots. People are still eating. Like it is busy until the wee mornings of, oh my God, that dog. <laughs> uh, it is busy like all night basically. So if you're somebody who wants to get some sleep, make sure you book a hotel that's not on a main road. I thankfully am not, so yeah. Oh my God, I love that dog so much. All right, let's see here. Only thing you kind of have to be careful of in the old town, like it's kind of, slippery walking on the rock you really have to be careful <laughs> so this is see here guys one sec I'm trying to get the focus right i think that should be good um so this is one of the main squares of the old town there's actually a few where we started is also considered to be a main square but this is 
one where you can see a lot of live music, the clubs obviously, there's a lot of restaurants, the police right in front of us. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Got ladies with drums up there. I'm confused though who they're playing for because it's like I can't hear them up there. So is there like an audience up there or are they, I don't know, live recording something? I'm a bit confused actually about how those work. <laughs> Okay, I still more or less know where I am, but probably soon I won't, but let's keep on going. Uh, this is a place where you guys can get that dish that I was talking about earlier, cross bridge noodles. I mean, you will find lots of places to have it to eat, but this one I ate at yesterday, so if you're in this main square, this is an option. There's even a gelato place. How nice. Aww. Thank you so much to Kartik for the super chat. You're my favorite travel YouTuber. Keep shining bright. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate all of your guys' support and for also coming out. Um, sorry. <laughs> so many things going on. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Now it's getting busy. Now I kind of got to watch where I'm going. So here what's fun here in the old town is like literally everybody is giving out free samples so it's like Costco on steroids you probably could get a full meal of mainly sweet treats and tea <laughs> if you wanted to <laughs> they even got durian over here I thought that was mainly in Southeast Asia, but I guess China also has durian. Aww. Thank you very much to Sin uh, for the super chat. Very sweet of you. Thank you so much. You guys are so lovely. Uh, oh my gosh, so much going on. <laughs> okay, I know I have a turn off somewhere here I gotta watch for. But what is this? Oh, we got to sing along here. <laughs> I don't know what they're making. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dinner and a show. And oh my goodness, thank you so much to my lovely friend Rahul for the super chat as always. Thank you so much for coming out Rahul. Hope you are doing well. So happy to see so many familiar faces here. Oh god, I'm gonna smack somebody in the face with my camera. I gotta be careful. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna stand to the side here. Um, just saw a super chat from TLF, TL Forge. Hi Alina, how do you feel about the police around you? No problem, no problem. Like unless you're, I don't know, doing something crazy, like you really don't have to worry. Why are my eyes so red? Like, sorry, <laughs> my contacts I think are starting to get to me. Um, but yeah, no, no issues with the police. I mean, I have live streamed like everywhere with police around, absolutely no issues. And I don't know why they would stop you unless you were doing something weird. So no, nothing you need to worry about. Thank you so much for the super chat. 
I think this is, no, not this turn off yet. I think the next turn off, let's see. We got sugar cane juice here. It's actually a pretty impressive machine that they have. Oh, I got, I missed a super chat from Keith, from Keith NG. Why didn't that come up? Keith, if you're still, oh, I see it, I see it. Keith NG, thank you so much for the super chat. That is very sweet of you. Thank you so much for coming out. And I think I've seen your comments on my Instagram as well. So thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. And thank you for that, Jim Ross. Thank you for catching that. Cause see, it doesn't it doesn't come up on my like notifications thing for some reason. I'm not sure why. So yeah, let me know, guys, if I miss a super chat. Thank you. Okay, there's a whole bunch of people coming, so I'm gonna have to somehow sneak on in here. Um, sure. Let's go down here. Let's hope I picked the right path. Yes, I did. Wow. This is a very popular <laughs> photo shoot spot. As you can see, right in front of us is a restaurant, but they have like a beautiful garden with a fountain. So lots of people in their outfits come here to do their photo shoots. And you will notice that in a lot of Lijiang, we're walking beside the river, right? So um, I guess Lijiang with a history of about 800 years and being a prominent, uh, I, I guess, military outpost as well, they had a very um, complex and impressive waterway for that time. And it still, in a way, is in existence, even though it has been, of course, updated to modern times, but the river still remains. This is actually the um, photo shoot studio that I went to for my photo shoot. I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> it's not even on Apple Maps, but uh, yeah, if anybody can read this and knows where this is, this is the one that I went to and it was super, super good. Up here we got some live music. So many photo shoots going on. I don't think there's any other place on earth <laughs> that I have ever been to that there are this many photo shoots going on. Like at first I didn't really think about it that that was a weird thing, but the more that I think about it for sure, nowhere else in the world have I seen this many professional photo shoots happening, which is kind of cool actually. And it's people of all ages, which is fun too. At first I thought it was just, you know, the younger generation, but then I've seen a lot more middle-aged to older people also doing it, which I think is super cool. Oh, did I miss a super chat from, I want it open, from Van Hawk Wong. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed this live stream. Awesome views. Please show more. Thank you so much, Van. Much appreciated and I absolutely will. There's plenty of Old Town I have not hit yet. So thank you. Oh, I like this girl's outfit. That's super cute. She looks like a fairy. This, where is it, where is it? This also, <laughs> the restaurant with the teddy bears on it. This is my favorite place for cross bridge noodles. Like the quality just seems better here. So 
This place also always has really long lines, but I would really recommend it. Got live performers in here. And I also really like in the Old Town, they just have so many, you know, different color of lights, right? Like it is usually red and yellow, but then you also got green and I've seen purple, I've seen blue. So it's really nice and colorful at night. Aw, thank you so much to Ed S. Ed S, uh, really enjoyed this live stream, awesome. Thank you so much, Ed. Very much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Very sweet of you. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Sergey. Uh, hello, Alina from Russia. Rubtsovsk. Hope I'm saying that right. You're our English teacher. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I do find it so interesting that that's one of the most common uh, comments I get on my channel is that a lot of people who aren't from Canada, US, Australia, um, they always say that they watch my channel because it helps them learn English. <laughs> and I never, um, you know, expected that. I obviously don't have training as an English teacher, but I think something about the way I enunciate things is easier for foreigners to understand because, you know, some English speakers like, I'm sorry, the Scottish or the Aussies are very difficult to understand even for English speakers. So I'm glad that other foreigners can learn English easier through my channel. Okay, it's going to be crazy on this bridge. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God. If you have fear of crowds, I would not recommend coming here. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Speaking of Aussies, I do love you guys, and most of you I can understand. Uh, Joanna, thank you for sharing such a beautiful Lijiang nightlife. I am watching in Melbourne, Australia now. I have visited Lijiang many years ago. Nice to see it again. Thank you so much, Joanna. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, it is an absolutely incredible place. Like, if you come to China, I feel like this is an absolute must. Take a look at this. Wow, this girl is gorgeous. And then right in front here, we got even more live music, beautiful restaurants. Like, look at all the flowers, like how much work it must be to, you know, keep all of that up. Thankfully, it doesn't get cold, you know, cold enough to really freeze everything, I don't think. Uh, maybe actually correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it does anyway. So it's pretty cool that they can have this year round. Cool. Oh, I'm very happy to hear that from Peter Lowe. You've definitely inspired me to add Li Jiang to my bucket list. I'm very happy to hear that. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Ninjetti Dean, thank you so much once again for coming out and the very generous super chat. Looking forward to your time in Bali. Time to kick up your heels a bit and you work way too hard. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Um, thank you so much, Dean. That is very sweet of you. And yeah, I'm going to be in Bali later this week. And while I have a lot to do, like I need to take some days off and just like chill on the beach 
have a two hour long coffee in a cafe and not edit for a while. There's a lot of people who want to say hi. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Dean. I hope you are doing great and thank you so much for supporting my channel. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, there's a lot going on, so let me flip the camera here. I do need a vacation from vacationing cognicative. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. I'm exhausted from my so-called vacation in China, which has actually been me filming or editing every single day. I love my job, obviously, but it is difficult to keep up this kind of pace for more than a week or two. This is actually, I think, one of the most beautiful... Oh, what are those guys doing? So let's see if... I have not seen that particular kind of dance and instrument. Interesting. Well, we'll get closer to them in a bit. But yeah, I really, really love this restaurant area. Like, look at these beautiful flowers with the lights. Lovely seating area. And looks pretty popular. <laughs> thank you so much to NERPS. NERPS, Nareep. Thank you so much for the super chat. It's almost as I feel as if you are not traveling alone. Also recommend my hometown Chengdu and other places in Sichuan for your future travels. Thank you so much. And you are in luck because I did do Chengdu already. And that video will be out. I mean, it will be a while until it's out, probably two to three weeks, but I had an incredible time in Chengdu. So absolutely would love to go back there as well. Really beautiful city. So thank you so much for the super chat. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Oh, so many nice outfits, right? Like to rent an outfit that nice, you would think that they would charge more, but I think they make up their money in volume, right? Because like they have people just renting them out day in and day out. So they probably do make a pretty penny. Oh, is that in English actually? I think somebody's singing in English. I think he's saying, Baby, I do love you. No idea what the song is though. Got all these cute little creatures. I really wish I had, um, as always, I wish I had more room in my suitcase because I would buy so many things here, but alas, I cannot. I'll have to come back to China with an empty suitcase. <laughs> There's that guy that's singing. Oh, I think I missed a super chat from Joanna. Joanna, did you send a message? Because I just see a super chat, but I don't see a message. So if you had a message, please post it um, in the chat. But thank you so much for the super chat. That is very sweet of you. Thank you so much. And uh, I think I see another one. 
the heck? Why is this giving me problems? Come on. From Bennett. Bennett, thank you so much. And I think that's Canadian currency as well. So hello, uh, fellow Canadian. Thank you so much for the super chat, Bennett. That is very kind of you. Uh, let's see here. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. It's just going so fast, guys. It's going so fast. Let me flip the camera as I just quickly scan through the comments here. Give you a nice view of the restaurants. And yes, I did hear Dali is also a really beautiful place to visit in this area, as is Shangri-La. Would have loved to go to there. Um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, you guys let me know if I did miss any super chats. Um, I mean, I had kind of touched on it before, but there is a message from, where was it? I think it was from, oh my gosh, from Steve McLeod, same last name as me, so I do have to answer it. Um, hi, Alina, thank you for doing this so informative. Do you feel safe there for the most part? Also, I don't understand the culture, but I know they are in a dictatorship government. Do you feel... Uh, do you feel, I assume if you're just asking, do I feel safe? And the answer is definitely yes. <laughs> I understand. I'm, I'm not at all saying that everything about China is okay and that I agree with, you know, how everything is done here. Uh, obviously, I'm not saying that, but I'm just speaking from a first outsider's sort of perspective and just about my own experience obviously I don't live in China obviously I don't have a degree in you know polit <laughs> politics international politics so I can't really talk on that kind of stuff but from a touristic first impressions perspective and just from the locals that I have talked to of course I have talked to locals who live here and a hundred percent, you know, their lives are not like crazy restricted or they're fearing for something like absolutely that is not the case here. And as a foreigner, I feel incredibly safe, much more safe than I do in most countries as a solo female traveler. So if you're just coming here uh, for touristic purposes, you don't have some kind of political agenda that you're, you know, trying to unearth and trying, you know, to film sensitive subjects, you will have no problem here. So if you're coming here to just visit Lijiang Old Town, there's 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 really nothing you have to worry about other than, uh, I don't know, somebody stepping on your toes in the crowds or something like, you know, <laughs> it's really not some kind of scary place or something. Oh, I like this chick's outfit too. This is like, Let's see if I can zoom in. It's cute. I love it. Like everybody's a model here. I love it. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice uh, style of shop. They have a few of them. Basically with all the shops, it's never just one shop of that type of thing. Almost always there will be like multiple stores of like paper or coffee or tea or whatever. So this is, uh, yeah, I think a kind of paper craft store. You can get these beautiful uh, handmade lamps, really beautiful notebooks. My goodness, we've been streaming for a whole hour already. And we got over a thousand people here. How cool.
Oh my gosh. Look at that little pug. Look at the cute little pug. Or no, wait, wait, wait. He's not a he's not a pug. He's a French bulldog. I'm sorry. Just so cute. Anybody want some chicken feet? If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me already try it. It was very strange. Can't say I need to do that again, but you know, wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I don't know why it's smoking. Is that like to attract people or something? Or does that keep the fruit cool or something? I don't know why there's like smoke machines everywhere. <laughs> oh, I missed a super chat from Respect Others. What a nice username. Towards your Bali coffee binge fund. Thank you so much. I will absolutely be uh, using it towards that. Bali, I mean, it's such a it's such a Westerner thing to say and like, I mean, it is what it is. I freaking love the restaurants and coffee shops in Bali. Like it is completely made for Westerners. Basically, they know how to milk us of our money and hey, good for them. They have like the best coffee shops and restaurants. So I am really just going to be loving the food scene in Bali. Uh, I see a super chat from Min Chen. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for visiting China. My absolute pleasure. I have absolutely loved my time here and will absolutely be back. Uh, S underscore 318 says the dry ice smoke keeps the insects away. Really? But I mean, I don't see any insects is the only thing. Oh. Jim Ross says that I missed a super sticker from Jack. Last one I see is respect others. Let me scroll a bit farther because it's not on my notifications. What the heck? I see it. I see it. Jack, thank you so much. Jack, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it and hope you are doing great. And thank you so much, Jim Ross. Really appreciate you posting that because yeah it did not come up for me as a notification um i think i see another one here hope i didn't miss it um bs hello from <laughs> interesting name hello from florida thank you and to jet lag warriors too for showing us real china not what western media portrays have a great time there thank you so much and my absolute pleasure I by no means like I said I'm not here to do political videos I'm just literally live streaming the street and doing videos that give you guys an idea of how to navigate you know as a tourist in a lot of really cool places so as long as you guys are enjoying the content that makes me very happy and uh, Costas world of music memories Harriet Jim and Yuki thank you you guys as always for coming out sorry we are late for the stream how are you alina thank you so much guys i am doing great a little bit tired as you can see from my contact lenses i don't know what i got going on there but uh yeah it's been an incredible time i'm on my last few days here in china so i'm like pushing till the end to film as much as I can and also try and get videos out to you guys as quickly as possible. But uh, yeah, I'll be taking a break in Bali real soon. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, that's, that's an interesting point um, from Kind Face. Hi Alina, what I was told from my last visit in the mid 2000s about those slippery stone floors is that they've been polished over centuries by locals wearing cloth shoes. That makes sense because when I rented my traditional outfit, I was wearing cloth shoes and yeah, it's very slippery. So I mean, in theory, uh, I don't know if that's a great idea. <laughs> um, let's see here. 
All right, cool. Moving forwards, I think I might actually, we haven't been down this street, so this is good, but I think this, this may actually lead us back to the main square, and then I will take a different route from there, and then we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, want to point out my favorite coffee shop, which at first I swore I would never order from the first time I ordered from there because uh, I like went up to the counter waiting for service and I thought they were just being <laughs> actually this story I'll tell it with my face because I felt so dumb but I mean I get it I just don't know how things work here so I go up to the counter right and there's a whole bunch of people also standing there and I don't know they're like on their phones and then they just like go pick up their drinks and you know I'm kind of just standing back waiting for the worker there to you know like come up to me and ask me what would you like right because that's how you order a coffee but like I wait five minutes I wait ten minutes and you know he doesn't come up to me and I'm just like should I say something or is like this person being purposefully rude like he sees me standing there right like why wouldn't he like you know come up to me or acknowledge me and then when I kind of looked over at other people I saw that they were ordering like like on their phones and I was like oh like oh maybe maybe you don't order like in person you have to like you scan you this, this was literally my second day in China so I, I didn't know so you have to scan yeah the Alipay thing and then thankfully Alipay does translate it into English and that's how you order and then they just like put your drink there you scan your number you take your drink so I was about to be super offended being like, oh, they don't serve foreigners or something. They're just like ignoring me, but no, like they're just doing their job. I didn't know how it works. So I'm glad I didn't just like walk away and make those kinds of assumptions. But uh, yeah, so Luckin Coffee is a Chinese coffee chain. It is super freaking good. It is way cheaper than like Starbucks and actually has way more interesting drinks. So if you come to China, I would greatly recommend trying it. It is super, super good. So yeah. <laughs> yes, China is too high tech sometimes. Honestly, like it's great. Like if you obviously are a local and you could like read the, um, you know, Chinese text and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it's really easy. I'm sure it's really convenient. But as a foreigner, unless it has the translation and even with the translation, since it isn't perfect, like it actually isn't that helpful. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Like ordering tickets, for example, um, Jade Mountain, right? The place that I'm going tomorrow so freaking complicated and for what for what <laughs> so the way it works and this is for a lot of attractions in china you order off of wechat only on wechat so you have to get wechat you have to put your credit card on there which i now have done and it's only a chinese channel there is no translation. So unless you're going to like screen grab, translate, or you're gonna get a local to help you do it, as a foreigner, it's super hard. So for these tickets for the mountain, they go on sale the night before uh, the day that you know, you're know you gonna go on. And then um, if, if you don't get it then, like that's it, like they're sold out. Like the tickets that went live last night, they went within 15 minutes. In 15 minutes to the top of the mountain was completely sold out so I was like okay there's no way I'm gonna get a ticket if I just show up and try and get one I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this WeChat thing so I went to N's restaurant the one place where they speak English and obviously Mandarin and I had him right when the tickets opened like do everything for me and we got it like we got me a ticket and like it's fine but i would have never been able to do it myself like there's no way because even with the translation if you tried to do it yourself you wouldn't be fast enough the tickets would just sell out just like that so long story short even with all this modern technology um while it is i'm sure convenient for locals it is super um frustrating as a foreigner and almost impossible like it's impossible if you don't have a local to help you so i don't know if that's something that 
they will change in the future like obviously the main um, group of tourists in China is their own people so it's like they don't need our tourism I get it but it'd be nice <laughs> like it'd be nice if they had a English version at least you know I get that okay they want you to use their payment apps okay fine but at least make it so we can order it <laughs> you know it's like if you can't even order a ticket for a top tourist attraction what are we supposed to do what are we supposed to do please explain to me but anyways that's that's my rant I got my ticket very grateful to ends kitchen for <laughs> helping me out <laughs> Hope I didn't miss any super chance during my rant because I was not <laughs> looking at the screen. Let me know if I did. <laughs> oh yeah, and thank you so much. I did just hit 286,000 subscribers and we'll probably hit 287 by the end of tonight it's been absolutely crazy how much my channel has grown in literally two weeks so thank you all so much for the support oh I missed a super chat I see it oh my gosh haven't seen Katsukate in so long thank you so much for coming out good to see you Alina stay safe Thank you so much, Katsu. Really appreciate you coming out and hope you are doing great. Hope there are, actually, is there cherry blossoms right now in Tokyo or did it already pass? I actually don't know. Hi. Oh. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Katsu. Hope, hope the cherry blossoms were beautiful or are still beautiful. Uh, all right. Okay, for the people saying that there's an English version of WeChat, yes, yes, WeChat app is in English, but all of the tourist platforms, those are all in Chinese, and you can translate those. On Alipay, thankfully, it has like a translate button for anything and everything, so that's why I prefer Alipay, but on WeChat, to book the tickets, it don't give you the option, so that's, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, super chat from NURPS once again. Thank you so much. Wow, you are such a resourceful go-getter. Love your spirit. Thank you so much. I, I try to be because I was like, I came all the way out here and yes, I could go to the bottom part of the mountain. To the bottom of the part of the mountain, you can always get a ticket, but it's not as cool as going to the top. So I was like, I'll be damned. Like I am, I came out all the way here. I am getting a ticket, you know, to the top of the mountain. So uh, yeah, thankfully with the help of a local, I was able to do it. Uh, Costas World of Music Memories. Thank you so much once again, guys. Safe travels to your next destination, Harriet, Jim and Yuki. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. I'll actually be flying with, um, I think it's just called China Southern. I actually haven't flown with the Chinese airline yet, so they'll be my first one. I'll be flying with them to Guangzhou and then to Bali from here in Lijiang. So hopefully it goes well. Thank you guys so much. And thank you so much to John, uh, or sorry, Wong, uh, Jeff X, for the next tea or coffee. Hi from Toronto. Thank you so much, neighbor. Or, I mean, I don't live in Toronto anymore, but you know, still in my heart, I feel like a part of my heart is in Toronto. So thank you so much. That is very sweet of you. Aw, thank you so much to Jesse, Jesse Kanjai. Hi, Alina. Jesse here from Singapore. If you still remember me, I do. It has been a long uh, while since I managed to view your live stream. Very happy to see you enjoying your time in China. Stay safe. Thank you so much, Jesse. That's very sweet of you. And I will actually be going to Singapore again in a little bit less than two months, probably. So very exciting. We'll hopefully see you on a live stream there when I am visiting. Um, 
Okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop ranting about all the ticket things, but see somebody else who also feels the same way. Trey G was in Beijing last week for seven days, couldn't get Forbidden City tickets for the same reason. You had to get tickets seven days before and they released them 8 p.m. for tickets them 8 p.m. for tickets a week later and it sells out fast yeah yeah not only does it sell out fast but like it's so complicated to get it's so surprising it's like if you came to Canada and you had to have like a Canadian you know bank account or something to put tickets there like what what are the foreign tourists supposed to do like it kind of excludes them <laughs> okay that was my last comment about it flipping the camera very nice all right well we got more I don't know what's going on here just like a photo shoot place <laughs> Look at all the beautiful flowers that they got here. Uh, you guys will see it in my main Lijiang video, but I would highly, highly, highly recommend uh, just outside of the main gates of the old town, there's this park called Black Dragon Pool, and it is stunning. For whatever reason, it doesn't actually get that busy maybe because you do have to pay a small fee to get in and people just don't bother but it is beautiful and absolutely worth the cost and from there during the day like wow you can get some beautiful pictures with this uh I think it's a pagoda or kind of like a temple structure um with the mountains in the background and it is absolutely stunning so if you come here absolutely put it on your list Yeah, so it's about, well, it's not quite 10.30 p.m. here, and look how busy it is still. And this is like a Sunday night, which you would expect to be much calmer than Saturday night. Yesterday, it was crazy. I went uh, back to my guest house a lot earlier because the crowds were just too much for me last night. But today, still on Sunday, look how busy it is. Okay, so we're getting back into the main square where we started. So uh, there's still so many different routes we can take. I've covered probably not even a quarter of the old town. Like that's just how big it is. It's absolutely wild. Um, so let's take, let's think here, which road Okay, actually, yeah, I know where I'll take you guys. We'll go this way. It's a big rock. World. Oh, by the way, obviously, um, Lijiang is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Understandable. Taking you guys past Pizza Hut and Starbucks again main attractions Starbucks for whatever reason is as expensive as it is in Canada uh, Pizza Hut and McDonald's for whatever reason is less than in Canada I don't know why that is like if 
If you got a cappuccino in Starbucks, it's still going to be like six US dollars, which is crazy expensive for, you know, the average person here. And like, let's be honest, it's not even that good. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much to Joanna for the super chat. That is so sweet of you. I'm your new fan since your trip to Guangzhou. Your production absolutely is one of the best I have seen. Please keep filming as much as possible. The beautiful cities in this China trip. Be safe and God bless you. Thank you so much, Joanna. That is very sweet of you. I'm so glad you've enjoyed the content and I absolutely loved my time in Guangzhou. That is like a city that I definitely need to spend longer in because there is like so much to see and do there. So thank you so much. And I'm really happy that you have been enjoying the content. Thank you. Everybody's staring at me. They're like, what is this white? What's, what's, their, what's their word for basically gringo in Mexico? La way, right? Is it Lao Wei? Is that what I am? <laughs> Foreigner. <laughs> oh, we got Wilson from Edmonton, Alberta. Lao Wai, that's what I am. Lao Wai, not Lao Wei. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Oh, we got a whole group of people all dressed up. It's actually nice in this part because see the streets here aren't quite as busy as the other one we were on and uh, yeah like I said before really do your research when you're booking to stay in the old town because it would just be it would just be a party if you got a place on a main street until the wee hours of the morning so being in an area like this would be great where you're still in walking distance of the main area but it's not going to be crazy loud like this place maybe i don't know sedona it's called that would probably be a nice place to stay oh we got somebody else who's in lijiang hhjl says we're here in lijiang too but the kids are tired so we returned to the hotel already that makes sense <laughs> It is a lot. Hello. I'm good. Thank you. Shishe. Everybody giving samples. Uh, Fernando asks to know if somebody had already asked, how's the drone regulations? Uh, I guess, first of all, just so everybody knows, my drone is out of commission. I need to buy a new drone when I'm in Canada. So all my drone shots that I've been using are all licensed stock. Um, I wish they were mine, but they're not. Um, but yeah, drone regulations in China are surprisingly way more lax than I was expecting. And for sure, way more lax than like, well, Canada for sure, but probably US as well. Uh, here in Lijiang, yeah, absolutely, you can fly a drone. There's like people that were flying drones from the rooftop of the hotel that I'm staying at every single day. Um, and there's lots of like stock drone footage, meaning lots of other people have already filmed here too. And uh, yeah, in lots of their national parks, it's absolutely fine to uh, fly a drone there. Obviously, you know, don't be stupid with it and make sure you know what you're doing. But uh, no, there's there's really no restrictions on that. Maybe just in like the bigger cities, maybe you might have some issues. But in, you know, these more like touristic sort of areas, I've seen plenty of drones. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. I don't know if I'm going to say it right. Hard. Drono, hard Drono. Thank you so much for the super chat and the very cute super sticker. That is very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Uh, super chat from Pratik Dande. You're going to be my English teacher from now on. Well, thank you so much. I'm everybody's English teacher, I guess it seems, but that's fine with me. 
I guess if YouTube doesn't work out, I guess I, I got a, I got a possible job option, right guys? I can be an English teacher. Oh my God, this dog is so cute. Look, look at this. There are so many cute dogs. You're so cute. I have to pet you. Oh, 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 oh. You're so sweet. Just having a little nap. Yeah. Oh, I miss dogs. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm officially lost. Or am I? Or am I? Um, no, I'm not. I know where I am. Look at me figuring out where to go. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you as a foreigner the most important place that you need to know in all of the old town. <laughs> Anne's Kitchen, the one main place that is English friendly. The nicest couple owns this place. I have come here every single day. They have a fantastic breakfast. They got, you know, all your Western favorites and they can absolutely help you with like booking things so a hundred percent if you like don't know how to figure stuff out in Lijiang come here and they will help you plus also yeah really really good breakfast so highly highly recommend <laughs> okay so now okay let's let's just have some fun let's just choose a road that I don't know where I'll end up, which is down here. I don't think I've ever been down here, so let's do it. If it actually is a road, maybe it's a dead end, I don't know. No, we can keep going. Let's see. Suddenly got very, very quiet. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we're going on a real adventure, aren't we, guys? I don't think I have been down here. Oh, this is pretty. Got a, oh, look at this, guys. Got, like, the river. Got this. So nice. See what we can find. <laughs> These houses are really impressive, aren't they? Like, I don't know how much of it has been refurbished and from like what time, but I think quite a few of them must be like fairly original builds, which is really cool. Like the guest house that I'm staying in uh, is definitely um, in the traditional older style, which is super cool. To Wu Yi Street. That means nothing to me, but okay. Oh, now I know where we are. <laughs> wow, I actually have walked quite a bit of this. I just never took that road to get here, but I absolutely know where we are now. Great. <laughs> Very fun live music happening here as well. They have teddy bears everywhere here for some reason. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. We can come back here maybe after, but this street up here is pretty cool. And it's really, really colorful. I'm gonna get a workout now because now we got stairs. Look at this, how cool, <laughs> I love it. 
it's like a Christmas tree of hearts. And I think it is just the honor system. I think it costs 15. But look, like the hearts continue. Like they just got walls upon walls of these hearts. It's just so cool. Aw, thank you very much to Habibi for the super chat. I can't quite read all the different characters there or what the 1500 means. But thank you so much, Habibi. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love it. And I actually expected some things to be closed, but I think literally everything is still open. It's like, when do these guys sleep? They also open pretty early. I actually don't know how much battery I have left too. I hope. It all hasn't given me a signal actually yet that I'm running low, so we're probably okay. Um, I don't know which way I should go. I wanted to take you guys on that umbrella street and for that I think I need to go down here. Let's do that. Let them do their food too. <laughs> Nice. All right. I think this is the Umbrella Street, isn't it? Let's take a look. Yep, it is. Yep, it is. Ooh, look at these outfits. See, while each store does have relatively similar outfits and obviously depends on the talent of the photographers that they have as well, but some places do have really... Hello. <laughs> some places do have really unique outfits, um, so the prices do slightly... Um, range so if you come here and are really particular about what you wear it might be worth it to actually go to a few different shops and just see what they have here oh actually yeah i hear that's english music that could be possibly copywritten so let's turn around before it catches it usually when it's a cover song unless the singer is like so close to the um original artist it usually won't copyright it but if it's you know a song that's like playing um that's the original then then that's a problem Oh my gosh, these are cute. Look at these little cats. I love it. So cute. And look at this, this like honor system. I, I think like you could literally just like, they trust you to pay for it and then you can take one. Uh, 10 RMB is more or less a dollar fifty US. So I think, I think it's a dollar fifty for any of these or no. N or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe locals let me know. I think any of these are 10. Have to check. <laughs> mm. KK says there's a particularly delicious tofu restaurant next to the big water wheel. When I went to Le Giang, I ate it every day. Tofu is especially delicious. You know, your comment just inspired me to try it i don't know if i know the restaurant that you're talking about near the wheels but there's some 
uh, tofu places I saw where they to they cook the tofu like in front of you and it looks super super cool but I haven't tried it so you have inspired me to do that so thank you Uh, Casey, no, uh, one Canadian dollar is actually five RMB at the current exchange rate. And with US, I guess it would be um, seven-ish. So yeah, not quite that big of a difference at this point in time. <laughs> yes, yes, Edward, in Lijiang, it's easy to miss the direction because the streets are so many different crossroads hard to remember especially as a tourist very true <laughs> and you are right uh buell it's not an honor system turn around there's cameras everywhere yes exactly that is that is true that while it is up to you to like pay for it there's probably a chance that if you didn't you would get caught and that wouldn't be good oh this is nice So pretty. Oh, look at these cute little dolls. Or oh, wait, these are purses. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I think the doll's heads are like the actual coin purse and then it's just a soft body. That's actually super cute for a little girl. That would be such a nice little present. Got lots of convenience stores in here. Alex asks, do you have any Chinese friends? Yes, I do. I have actually quite a few, I mean, Chinese uh, friends that live in Canada, but then also, yeah, here in China, I have definitely made a few new friends as well, which has been really cool. I would, I would definitely have way more friends if there wasn't such a language barrier here. Because, you know, it is, it is tricky to communicate with people. But for anybody that does speak Chinese, that they have been very, I mean, speak, spoke English, it's been really easy to make friends. This is nice. Oh my gosh, and look at the doggies. <laughs> this is so cute. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very nice singer. He's got a very nice voice. <laughs> more hearts, more umbrellas. Okay, now let's see if I can figure out where I am now, because I did recognize that one part we were in. Oh, oh, we're, we're back where we were. Enn's kitchen is just over there. So let's go over here. I probably will wrap things up in the next 10 minutes or so, guys, because I have been going for like an hour and a half now and it's going to be 11 o'clock soon and i have the jade snow mountain that i gotta go to tomorrow and i'd prefer to be there early enough in the day where do i go where do i go shoot sorry oh let's go down here Sam Nonea asks, were you assigned a guide? I've seen many vloggers in China and they all seem to have one. No, I was definitely not assigned a guide. <laughs> um, most of what I've seen has been totally on my own, but I do have friends that work for the Chongqing Tourism Board. So there, they did set me up with an awesome lady who showed me around. And then they also had contacts in Chengdu with their tourism board. So there, I got locals to show me around, which was awesome. 
it certainly does make things easier um, but everything else I have done on my own which overall like if you just do your research and you take your time like you can you can make it work you know Where are we? Oh, look at this street with all these flowers. So nice. So lovely. Big tea shop. Where am I? One second. Okay, no, I have not been down this street before, but maybe I will recognize what's down here. Aw, thank you so much, Jesse. Glad it's inspired you to visit. Oh, I know where we are. Oh my goodness. How great. I never expected that I would actually know where I was at the end of the live stream. What a gift. All right. I'm gonna go this way. Oh look, a Lao Wei or Lao Wai right in front of us in the wild. Look at that temple all the way up there. I actually don't know what that is. Looks very nice. kind of scary to like walk beside the river because like there's no guardrail I'm like don't fall in don't fall in <laughs> so cute perfect Instagram husbands doing great work your service is very much appreciated it's really interesting here in china actually thing that i've noticed as a foreigner like obviously i i don't know you know what their kind of dating life is like compared to north america but uh they do seem very chivalrous where like a lot of the boyfriends they will like absolutely be carrying like all the bakes plus the girls purses and yeah like instagram husbandry like 101 going on and i think it's more traditional like for the men to you know pay for everything here so you know i don't know maybe you know coming from the west where that's not as uh you know common anymore like oh maybe you know their dating culture is better here for the ladies i don't know let me know in the comments if you're a chinese lady like is it is it better to date a chinese guy than a western guy like let us know in the comments uh, let's see here. Um, okay let's dang it guys uh, let's see okay um trying to think guys where should we go okay we'll end the live stream i think in this main square that's what we'll do
Oh, hi, Mr. Super Chat. Oh my goodness. Rob Ned, thank you so much for coming out as always. Difficult to imagine it's Sunday night. Yes, I am in the future. Hello from the future. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming out, Rob. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hope you are doing great. So nice to see you here. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, what is that smell? There's something right now in the air that smells so freaking good. It smells like some kind of bakery. Is it maybe... I don't know. Can somebody read what that sign is? I can't see what they're making. I don't think it's the watermelon. <laughs> but I don't know. Something in the air smells super, super good. And I don't know what it is. Thank you so much for the suggestion, Michael Yang. I may consider going to that YooHoo village if I uh, have time tomorrow, if it's fairly close, that would be really cool. Let's see. I think the nightclubs are still going hard. I wonder what time they close, actually. The singers up there. Like literally, like how many places are all playing live music here? <laughs> That's crazy. for you tonight i just saw a quick super chat from jay lu are you going to meet up with uh, guelo 60 and reporter fine media i don't know uh, guelo personally but yes of course i know alex from reportify i've known him for like five years now and stuff so i did meet up with him and yulia in chongqing so of course they will be uh coming up in uh, my chongqing videos um so thank you so much for the super chat there and yeah guys i think i think that's all i can do tonight because i'm actually kind of uh starting to get a raspy voice because i think with all of the music i've tried to compensate by talking louder than i usually do plus it's also been like how long all well no almost sort of two hours so you know it's it's been a long one i hope you enjoyed this last live stream from lijiang i have truly um enjoyed this walk and talk with you guys thank you all so much for coming out and thank you so much to everybody who sent me a super chat it all goes into the production of all of my videos so thank you all so much for your support um, i will of course have so many so many more videos coming out about China. We're just getting started with the actual, um, you know, main video content. So stay tuned for another month of that. But um, as far as live streams, I probably won't have another one for at least a month. Probably mid-May is when I will live stream from Bali once I have done all of my China content. So this is gonna be my last live stream for a while. Hope you enjoyed it and yeah stay tuned for my next video which will be on Tianmen Mountain where I do the glass bridge that everybody was saying you know in my John Giacci video you missed the glass bridge no I didn't it's just in another video so stay tuned for that and then Chongqing uh, with Alex will be coming up soon after that 
So thank you all so much for coming out. I had so much fun and as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.